Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Today we're going to talk about my Jeep again. I know it's been like a year since my last update or whatever. And a lot of that's because I've done nothing. I haven't had time or money or energy. Finally had a little bit of money together. And so I took it to yet another shop. And they fixed my problem with my engine revving or not revving. So let's take a look here and see what we got. So this is my old flex plate. Get this up here. This is what the problem was. It is damaged. And it was not damaged. You can see kind of this edge here. It flares out in sections and stuff. So something happened to this flex plate that caused it to get damaged before this engine was put in this car. Now, this engine is not originally a little car. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's a junkyard engine. I say that because there are yellow letters or numbers written on the side of the block which is very indicative of something pulled from a junkyard so um, this is my old flex plate um, they figured out this was a problem it ran fine at low rpms but they could see this actually start to flex flex plate it was flexing um over that 2000 rpm enough to where it was actually um causing an issue so you see all these little squares here with the gaps this is to tell the car where each cylinder is and when to fire so um, it's a very critical thing that a uh, sensor runs on so very important to the health of the engine and running properly so with this not being in round properly um, it was causing the issue that we were having so let's go ahead and see if it starts now <laughs> it's been a hot minute since i've tried starting it so it may not start because the battery is dead I have a new mic, so hopefully the mic is working well. Oh, starts right up. Now that's been like, like I said, like a month. They have not been touched. All right. So put foot on the brake. Put it in neutral. Oh, I won't go much further than that. Um, but it will rev right up to 3,000 RPM just sitting here in neutral. So happy. I cannot tell you how happy that makes me. I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood. We'll be right back. All right. So the engine revs over 2,000 RPM. It revs smoothly. It revs beautifully. They checked the compression. The compression is perfect, which means my head gasket job was good. They did have to replace this bottle. This bottle, the, old, the brand new one that was I, I had bought and put on there, actually had a crack in it from the factory. I didn't realize it was causing me problems, but that's neither here nor there at this point. Um, but it is not done. There's one major issue I need to address, and that is this part over here. And if I wiggle this around, oh, oh, here, that down there, you see that moving around? There should be a bushing in there. And so what happens is when I'm accelerating, sometimes I let go and it'll actually catch and not return. Um, and that is a problem because that means the throttle is stuck open. So if anybody knows if I, where I can find a replacement part or how to repair this part, I would greatly appreciate it. And just... Um, to show you here, I'm trying to get my camera in there. It is that part right there, that shaft that has that uh, teeter totter seesaw part on it for the throttle. It pulls. So th this part down here is the throttle cable. This goes to the this bar goes to the throttle body, and then the cruise control runs off of it as well. Which is uh, yeah, this is right here. This is cruise control right here. So, kind of important part, especially because it causes the throttle to stick uh, open. Not a good thing to have happen when you're driving on the road. The other couple of things that are happening that I need to address is the brakes are awful. Part of the problem is, sorry, it's getting kind of dark in here, but oh, I'm not going to be able to get you to see that. But my brake lines aren't run right. I need to fix that. And then when I turn right, 
my front tire on this side rubs and I think it's because my axle isn't quite lined up. So if I come here, the wheels are fairly straight. I don't know. I'm going to have to mess. Like I said, it's not done. There's still some tweaks that need to happen to it. Part of me just wants to take it to a shop and say, fix it, <laughs> get it done. Um, and that way I can just enjoy it, but I don't have any more money. So it's going to have to wait until I have money. Um, don't know if you guys know much about YouTube, but for whatever reason, my revenue has been cut in half. So um, I'm not covering my costs per se of running my channel right now. So I've always run at a bit of a deficit, but it's really, there was always a little bit of money to put into the Jeep or whatever. I haven't had that for almost a year. So um, there wasn't a lot of money, but it was some. And so it basically has gone away. So it kind of sucks for right now. I don't know what's happened with YouTube or whatnot. Um, so yeah, and that's not just from like December to January cut in half because that always happens. It's from like 2019, 2020, 2021. All those years were better than uh, 2022. My revenue is just in the in the dump. So anywho, it's kind of hard to keep making videos when they're not doing anything for you. I know that's kind of not not your problem thing, but uh, it is an issue when I'm trying to use those that money to fund this. So if you want to see more updates on this, watch my videos, I guess. Um, turn off your ad blocker, something. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you like the update, and I hope you have an amazing evening.